Vance, hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. So in a previous video we talked about lists and their functions. And we talked about this for loop right here and I told you I'm going to tell you about for loops in this video. So let's start with the basics. So let's create a list. And let's call this just something like um, my list. And we can call this all the ways to say hello and stuff like that. So hello. Hello, uh, hola, let's see, we have konnichiwa, uh, konnichiha, konnichiwa, and I think we have oi as well, and then like niho or something like that in Chinese, but I don't know. Okay, so now we can actually loop through this, so we can go four, now just like with the with the, what do you call it, the while loop, it loops while something is true. So while there is something here, so we can say while word in uh, my list, we can just print word. And if we go here, clear this and run it. Hello, hello, hola, konnichiwa, and oi. So it lists through, it loops through this. You can do the same with a word like my word and we can just say that is hello so then we can go for letter in my word and we just go here letter then it goes each and every letter so basically it just says for each index inside of whatever do something so in this case, for each letter, like letter, in this word, go through this. This doesn't matter. I can call this X if I want. It doesn't matter. But this is what matters. For So for each X inside of Y, do this. Same with list. So for each index inside of the list, do something. We can do like range and we can like say 1 to 10. 1 through 10 and if I go and let's actually make this X just so we can go and if I print X this is going to go from 1 to 9 because a range is basically 1 to 9 we'll get more into range later but for right now range is just basically from whatever number to wherever minus 1 so it just basically goes through something and unlike with a while loop that continues 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 until you say it's false a for loop continues 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 until there's nothing to continue anymore so we can even actually count things so let's say mm, this is my string and it is very cool let's say we want to count all of the eyes inside of this then we can go for and let's keep it at x and say my word instead of printing x we can say if x is equal to i the letter i we can create a count variable here so count outside of the for loop and you can say count is equal to zero and then you can say count plus equals one so it adds one to count and once this for loop has ended we can print count for all the eyes and there are five eyes in this sentence okay so we can actually give all of these in value to assign along with them so we can say you know if we go my list and we print this and as you can see it just prints the list we can actually say a new merit if I'm correct like that and we can actually say start and we can make that equal to zero then as you can see it will actually assign values to each of these so that index zero hello and we can actually go uh, and we can say num and x they can like print num and x separately so then as you can see zero hello 
We can also make it start from something like 10 for example instead of 0. Then it starts to 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and so on. So you can use enumerate which is really nice. And basically what this does is basically if we're going to get two values from this then we can actually display the value separately. If we just use one instead of two then we will get a full value you know. Now there's actually a way to loop through all of these arrays and stuff at once. Now let's say you have multiple arrays or multiple lists. So let's go names is equal to now let's use Marvel stuff. So is it Marvel, Marvel DC, whatnot? Now let's say it's Peter Parker and we have Clark Kent. And I'll be back in a second once I finish typing everything. Okay, so here I have a bunch of lists. So here we have names Peter Parker, Clark Kent, Wade Wilson, Bruce Wade. Here we have their hero names. So Peter Parker is Spider Man. Clark Kent, that's Superman, Wade, that's Deadpool, and Bruce, that is Batman. And here are their universes, so it's Marvel, Spider-Man is part of Marvel if I'm correct, Superman is DC, uh, Deadpool is Marvel, and Batman is DC. I don't actually know if that's true, because I don't really want this. I don't really, really watch a lot of that. Anyways, then we can actually look through all of these. So we can say for, let's say name, hero, and universe. So they, what they are and we can say in and if we want to look through multiple arrays or multiple lists we can actually use zip and we can say names heroes and universes so they will be respectively assigned their values so name in names hero in heroes universe in universes and then we can actually print and use let's print with an F so format print. Then we can say name is hero from and we can say universe universe. So it's just going to say hey Peter Parker is Spider-Man from Marvel and so on for all of the values. So we can go here. Let's actually clear this. This is a Peter Parker is Spider-Man from Marvel, Clark Kent is Superman from DC, and so on and so on. So yeah, that's basically what this zip does. It loops through everything. Okay, so basically in the previous video I showed you the one liner of the for loop. And it is relatively close to the one liner of the if statement. And I believe you all can figure out how it works now. So let's actually create another num list. So num and we can make it equal to. And let's remake it. So one, two, three, four, five. So then we can go uh, sqr squared. And we can make that equal to. And then inside squarely bar, square bracket, we can say i times i for i in num. So now you might kind of understand what's happening here now that we've done all of the for loops. We just basically say, hey, for each element inside of num, make that element times by itself. So yeah, just times by itself, square it. And then we can print squared. And then if we go here and just, and as you can see, they squared themselves. So yeah, that's basically the one-liner for the for loop. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all understood most of this and we'll be tuning in for the next few videos. Thank you all for watching and see you all in the next video.